Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek, sponsored by Dell and Intel. IBM has signed a 10-year, multi-billion dollar services agreement with ABN AMRO to manage the IT infrastructure that supports the bank's global operations. The agreement also calls for the implementation of a private IBM cloud, together with the standardization and simplification of the existing IT landscape, from mobile computing to mainframe infrastructure. ABN AMRO serves retail, private, and corporate banking customers. The agreement extends the bank's strategic IT relationship with IBM and supports its strategic effort to become a leading digital bank. According to a new report from FireEye, a group known as FIN4 is hacking Wall Street financial firms in an attempt to gain privileged financial information about non-public upcoming market announcements. The FIN4 campaign began in the middle of 2013. 68% of companies that have been targeted are publicly traded healthcare and pharmaceutical companies, while 20% have identified themselves as firms that advise public companies on securities, legal, and merger and acquisition matters. Intel has acquired PasswordBox, a small ID management startup whose technologies enable users to log into websites without having to memorize their passwords to protect their personal information online. There have been more than 14 million downloads of this startup's technology, which lets users log in their information in a virtual lockbox. When a user wants to get into a website or an app, he or she clicks on the site, and the password box deals with the login process. Microsoft recently announced it has acquired a San Francisco-based mobile email startup, Accompli. This is a free business-focused email app for Apple iOS and Android devices. It's based on the notion that one app should handle practically all email and calendar-related functions with minimal typing. To achieve this, the app provides what the company calls a focused inbox, which intelligently surfaces important emails across all email accounts and includes built-in predictive search. Thanks for watching. Follow the link on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast, and check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.